25. Oracles against Judah's neighbors. Now, if you notice, the first 24 chapters, the oracles of the word of God, they, they were directed at Judah. But after Judah, now as we come to chapter 25, now the word is directed towards the neighbors of Judah. And of course, these are judgments, pronouns, and you, you wonder why. But in 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 17, you remember that? 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 17. For the time has come for judgment to begin at the house of God and, it, and if it begins with us first, what will be the end of those who do not believe or do not obey the gospel of God? So God dealt with His people first, Judah, the first 24 chapters. Now, as you go on to chapter 25, it is towards the neighbors and you will find in chapter 25, uh, judgment against uh, the Ammonites, the Moabites, the Edomites, the Philistines. And that's chapter 25. Come to 26, 26 to 28, it is judgment against Tyre. You know your car, Tyre? Uh, same spelling. Against Tyre. And then 29 to 32, it is against Egypt. Egypt, the picture of the world. So, Let's start with uh, chapter 25. So, first seven verses against Ammon. 8 to 11 against Moab and Seir. 12 to, 24, 12 to 14 against Edom. And then 15 to 17 against Philistia. So let's look at this map. So try and follow this map so you understand. So you notice it is uh, clockwise from Jerusalem. Everything is from Jerusalem. It is the center. So Ammon, Moab, Edom, A-M-E-P. A-M-E-P, easy to memorize. Ammon, Moab, Edom, Philistine. Clockwise. So, Let's look first at Ammon. The word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, set your face against the Ammonites and prophesy against them. Say to the Ammonites, Hear the word of the Lord God. Thus says the Lord God, Because you said, Aha, against my sanctuary, when it was profane, and against the land of Israel, when it was desolate, and against the house of Judah, when they went into captivity. Indeed, therefore, I will deliver you as a possession to the men of the east, and they shall set their encampments among you, and make their dwellings among you. They shall eat your fruit, and they shall drink your milk, and I will make Rabbah a stable for camels, and Ammon a resting place for flocks. Then you shall know that I am the Lord God. Now, who are the Ammonites? And why, why is God unhappy with them? Why is God pronouncing judgment against them? So, historically, where did they come from? Do you remember? Not Esau. Okay? So you look at Genesis chapter 19. They came from an incestuous incest relationship. Verse 36, I think. 33. Okay, 30. So, there was Lot 
and he was dwelling in the mountains with his two daughters. And then in verse 31, the firstborn, the elder, said to the younger, the daughter, Our father is old, and there is no man on the earth to come in to us, as is the custom of all the earth. Come, let us make our father drink wine, and we will lie with him that we may preserve the lineage of our father. These are all of the flesh. Try to help God's plan. Yeah, do their own thing. So they made their father drink wine that night, and the firstborn went in and lay with her father, and he did not know when she lay down or when she arose. It happened on the next day that the firstborn said to the younger, Indeed, I lay with my father last night. Let us make him drink wine tonight also, and you go in and lie with him, that we may preserve the lineage of our father. Then they made their father drink wine at night also, and the young girl arose and lay with him, and he, he did not know when she lay down or when she arose. Thus both the daughters of Lord were with child by their father. The firstborn bore a son and called his name Moab. He is the father of the male bikes to this day, and the younger she also bore a son and called his name Ben Ami. He is the father of the people of Ammon to this day. Got it? So, they, they came about from an incestuous, if I pronounce it correctly, relationship. And it is definitely a no no. They started wrongly. But now the accusation, the accusation that God has against them now, in verse 3. Because you said, aha, it is like in celebration. When, when Israel was down and it was out, when its sanctuary was being profaned, when the enemies, the, the Babylonians came in and, and, and crashed the wall, broke into the temple, destroyed the temple and so on. Who was celebrating? The Ammonites. And if you remember 9-11, you know the day that the, the, the planes went into the Twin tower, Towers and then 3,000 more people died? And who was celebrating? Who was celebrating? In the Middle East, they were bumping their horns and jumping and celebrating and so on. Let's turn to Genesis chapter 12. This is from the Word of God, and people uh, just don't take it seriously. Genesis chapter 12. Yeah. Verse 3. I will bless those. This was God speaking to who? Abraham. I will bless those who bless you, and I will curse him who curses you. And so when these people were celebrating when, when, when uh, Israel was going down, what were they doing? Were they blessing Israel? No. I will curse him who curses you, and in you all the families of the earth shall be blessed. And so you read this again, because you said, Aha, aha, against my sanctuary when he was profane and against the land of Israel when it was desolate, and against the house of Judah when they went into the captivity. God is concerned for his sanctuary. You profane against it. I mean, you, you, you spoke against it. God is concerned about his land, and you spoke against the land. God is concerned about his house of Judah. That means the people of Judah. The temple, the land, and the people. This is what God treasured. And you spoke against them when they went into captivity. So, therefore, I will deliver you as a possession to the men of the east. So, who are the men of the east? Who are the men of the east? Yes. Huh? The Babylonians. Hey, but you say Babylonians are. Not this man, 
No. <laughs> I'll have to find the other map. Okay, you thought it's the <coughs> north. Yeah, but actually in the, on the map, they are on the east. Up northeast. But because there's a big desert there, you see the Aramean? <coughs> so they always have to go towards the west. They are from the east. They go towards the west, then from there, then they come down. Okay? Later we have time, I'll show you the map. So if Babylon is physically on the east, they get to the west, and then they come down south. So they are people of the east. So the Babylonians. Who, would, who else has got in mind for his instrument at this hour? It is the Babylonians. This At this moment, at this time, the Babylonians were the superpower. So therefore I will deliver you as a possession to the men of the east, and they shall set their encampments around you, among you, and make their dwellings among you. They shall eat your fruit. You work, they eat. Basically, they come and raid your farms. Huh? And they shall drink your milk. So you now know who is your new boss. They are the Babylonians. And I'll make Rava. Rava is the capital of Ammon. Rava, Ammon. Refers to the same place, just two names. Yeah, so Rava, Ammon. Is it. So Rava, a stable for camels and a resting place for flocks. But Rabba Ammon is the capital. It is meant to be flourishing and, 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 and successful and prosperous. But it is just going to be a resting place for the flocks. Yeah? And also for the camels. So it is, it is like today, it's like a big sty for animals and so on. So your capital it is going to be used by animals. Your capital is going to be desolate, but occupied by animals, used for by these animals. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. So in other words, you will be downgraded. You will be demoted in status. For thus says the Lord, says the Lord God, because you have clapped your hands, stamped your feet, and rejoiced in heart with all your disdain for the land of Israel. Indeed, therefore, I will stretch out my hand against you and give you as a plunder to the nations. I will cut you off from the peoples, from the nations, and I will cause you to perish from the countries. I will destroy you and you, will, you shall know that I am the Lord. Do you see Ammon in the modern map today? Do you? No. Gone. Gone. They were destroyed. Why? Because they celebrated when Israel was being judged by God. So be careful yeah, what you say. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Bless Jerusalem. Stand with Jerusalem. Because it is God's chosen people. So, Donald Trump may be a bit crazy. He's coming tomorrow and, and you know. But, from the day he took office, he has been very public about this. He is with Israel. And he will... He said he will move the, cap the, the, the embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. And it came to pass, right? It happened, right? Many, actually, this, this was passed by quite a few presidents ago. But they say only, they pass the thing, but no execution. They're not moved. Political pressure. But this cowboy came. He's deaf and he's dumb to all these things. He moved. Yeah? So... He is another instrument of God. Now, let's continue. <clears throat> Verse 8. Thus says the Lord God. Now he turns his attention to Moab. Because Moab and Seir. Seir is, uh, I think they go together. But the main, the main item, the main place of attention here is Moab. Because Moab and Seir say, Look! The house of Judah is like all the nations. 
Therefore, behold, I will clear the territory of Moab of cities, of the cities on its frontiers, the glory of the country, Beth Jesimon, Baal Moimion, and Kerjatham. To the men of the east, I will give it as a possession, together with the Ammonites, that the Ammonites may not be remembered among the nations. And I will execute judgments again upon Moab, and they shall know that I am the Lord. So what was the charge against Moab? They say that, oh, Israel, oh, Israel, it is the same like all the other nations. Now, how are they the same as all the other nations? Oh, they are like heathens. The heathens worship idols, they worship uh, 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 all these gods and, and do all these kind of perverse things. No, no difference. They are the same. Their God is like one of the gods. Now in the Old Testament, in the olden days, their God, they considered God as territorial. So, the God of Egypt is God of Egypt. Then you are God of Babylon. Then you are God of your, 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 your Syria. It's territorial. If I come to my country, I have my own God. You have your own God. And to say that Israel is like Judah is like all the nation. So your God is God of Judah, God of Israel, just your God. And that, that is not the truth. And that upset God because God is the God of all nations. He is the God of the world. Don't lower him. And, and to, to, to mock him and to make him as so, God said, therefore, I will clear the territory of Moab of cities. You know what it means? Clear. That means uh, you tear down this structure and then you clear the rubble. Nothing left. And just like Ammon, Ammonites, he said Ammonites shall not be remembered. So just like Ammonites shall not be remembered, Moab also shall not be remembered. And if you look at the map today, can you find Moab? Don't have don't have. So these two who came from and from incest cease to exist. So you see Beth, Teshimo, Baal, Mion, Kerjadam, and so on. Don't know where they are. But verse 10. Verse 10. To the men of the east, I will give it as a possession together with the Ammonites that they may be remembered may not be remembered among the nations so there was an execution of judgment against Moab now we go to verse 12 we go now south <coughs> Edom thus says the Lord God because because of what Edom did against the house of Judah. Because of what Edom did against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and has greatly offended by avenging itself on them. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, I will also stretch out my hand against Edom. And Edom, they are the descendants of Esau. Jacob and Esau, remember? Okay. Cut off men and beasts from it and make it desolate from Timan, Didan. From Timan, Didan shall fall by the sword. I will lay my vengeance on Edom by the hand of my people that they may do in Edom according to my anger and according to my fury and they shall know my vengeance, says the Lord God. So, Looking at Edom, because of what Edom did against the house of Judah by taking, uh, by taking vengeance and has greatly offended by avenging itself on them. So what exactly was the charge? What did Edom do against Israel? I find that the best description is found in Obadiah. Obadiah chapter 10. 
is verse 10. Obadiah only one chapter. Okay. Obadiah verse 10. And in verse 10, for violence against your brother Jacob, shame shall cover you, and you shall be cut off forever. In the day that you stood on the other side, in the day that strangers carried captive his forces, when foreigners entered his gates and cast lots for Jerusalem, even you were as one of them. So God is saying, the day the Babylonians, the strangers, the foreigners came, the day the foreigners and the strangers came and carried captive his forces, that means carried the people of Judah out into exile. When the foreigners entered the gates and cast lots on for Jerusalem, even you, 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 Edom, because you read from verse 1, this is concerning Edom. You read from Obadiah verse 1, this the whole thing is about Edom. So, even you, Edom, you were as one of them. You were like one of the foreigners. You were like one of the strangers. You were with the enemies. Verse 12, but you should not have Gaze on the day of your brother, but you should not have gaze. What is the meaning of gaze here? You should not have bloated over. You should not have celebrated. You should not have rejoiced. You should not have felt happy over this. You should not have gaze on the day of your brother, in the day of his captivity. Nor should you have rejoiced over the children of Judah, in the day of their destruction, nor should you have spoken proudly in the day of distress. You should not have entered the gate of my people in the day of their calamity. Indeed, you should not have gazed on their affliction in the day of their calamity, nor laid hands on their substance in the day of their calamity. You should not have stood at the crossroads to cut off those among them who escaped, nor should you have delivered up those among them who remain in the day of distress. You know what's the last part? You should not have del delivered those uh, up those among them who remain. Some people were hiding. So this Edomites men, uh, catch them. Uh. Babylonians, Babylonians, still got one, still got one. Take. You follow me? Betrayal. In Genesis chapter 12 verse 3 I will bless those who bless you I will curse him curse you so back to chapter 25 where are we we finish with verse 14 so now we go on to the traditional enemies of Israel the one in red Philistine. 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 Until today, still a problem. Okay? Still a problem. I'm reading this book, <clears throat> Walking Through the Bible. Not quite big. Not easy. But it is the record of someone who is a backslidden. He was he's born a Jew, American Jew. Uh, when he grew up, he was in church and knew about, but over the years he, he backslid. But now at this at this stage of life, later stage of life, he decided he wants to discover the Bible. So read also. It's, it's reading now. So he decided. I think he's a reporter or something. To walk the land, so he went over the months and so on. He went to places started with Genesis. He went to where. Uh, Abraham will call up from the land of Ur, went to Bethel, went to Bathsheba, Sechem, you know. Then he went to Exodus, went to Egypt, and then he crossed the Red Sea. And, and then you read all this. Huh? He, this book covers the first five books of the Bible. And I enjoy the book because in the, uh, you're reading it from someone's perspective where he's on the ground. You look at the local people, talk to the local people, and the local people... Uh, yeah, I said, this happened. Why are you here? Because this was the well of Mara. This is the, the well where water was, bitter water was turned into, you know, uh, 
uh, why are you here? Because Abraham was here, and, and Abraham was buried here, and, and uh, God led the people. So it is very real. And as he crossed, from what I've been reading, I'm still reading, from when he crossed from Egypt into Sinai, into the wilderness, and so on, then he's realized truly God is real. So uh, he, he, he got transformed. Then as he walked the land, then he, he, he was uh, rebirthed. He walked the land, he was uh, renewed in the spirit. Then he said, oh, God is real. Okay. So, I'm not selling Israel, but I'm going Israel through this year. But you have to walk the land. You have to walk the land, then you realize uh, that indeed, uh, this is not just another book of history. This is the word of God recorded for us. And this guy is transformed. Okay, so um, where are we? Verse 15. Thus says the Lord God, because the Philistines dealt vengefully and took vengeance with a spiteful heart to destroy, to destroy because of the old hatred. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, I will stretch out my hand against the Philistines, I will cut off the Cherethites and destroy the remnant of the sea coast. I will execute great vengeance on them with furious rebukes, and they shall know that I am the Lord God when I lay my vengeance upon them. Now, so these are the coastal dwellers. Historically, they came from uh, the Mediterranean, those pho Phoenician or, uh, places and so on. And then they found, they migrated here and they found their place there. And these people are the, by the coastal, and we read one name there, Cherethites. This, that is also one of the coastal people, though not on the map. And they have been described as the traditional enemies of Israel until today. Yeah, they, sh they, they have this uh, separation. Okay, you all, you all stay here. We, we are here. But regularly, they, they, they still irritate the people of Israel. They send bombs or they send terrorists and, and, and so on. And it is ne they have never coexisted peacefully, not until today. So, because the Philistines dealt vengefully and took vengeance with a spiteful heart to destroy because of the old hatred. Just hatred. Just unforgiveness. Just got something to, to, to square off with Israel. Eventually, they will also fall to Babylon. So therefore, I'll stretch out my hand against the Philistines. I'll cut off the Cherethites. The coastal dwellers and destroy the remnants of the sea coast. I will execute vengeance on them with furious rebuke, and they shall know that I am the Lord. But you notice that uh, when we come to when we come to Philistine, the Philistines, uh, it did not mention that they will not be remembered. Mm. It's like today they are still here. Yeah, wasted, huh? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> But for the rest, they shall not be remembered. So this this area now today is known as Jordan. Yeah. Jordan. Yeah. But this one is still remembered. It's in Kasa. Huh? Kasa yeah. And so that is chapter twenty-five.